Hi everyone, I'm Monica and let's talk about some perfect cozy reads for autumn. When I was making this book list, I was thinking about curling up next to a fire, you have a cup of tea and a good book and you're like wrapped up in the most fuzzy blankets ever. So that's what I had in mind when I was making this list. Let's just jump right into it and my first pick is a YA fantasy romance and it is Belladonna by Adeline Grace. So this one I just recently read and I think it's the perfect book for fall because we're following 19 year old Signa Faro who has always been a orphan and when she has been passed around from guardian to guardian death seems to be following her around since each of those guardians always seem to die and after her latest guardian's death her aunt she is sent to live at thorn grove with her relatives the hawthorn quickly signa notices that there are spirits that haunt the house and that there is something a little bit more going on at, with her relatives because her aunt who has also recently passed away, might not have only died but might have been poisoned and therefore murdered. But the only thing that Signa wants to actually be right now is a proper lady in society and live a somewhat normal life. And she does have her inheritance coming when she turns 20 years old. But Signa is pulled into solving her aunt's death. Signa also has a really constant companion near her and it's the actual true death with like the capital D who is always lingering nearby. And it doesn't help that Signa's cousin Blythe, who is also coming down with a mysterious illness, is running out of time so Signa really needs to get on to solving this murder. So this book, Belladonna, really did capture my attention right from the first page. The world is really easy to fall into and the writing makes it really atmospheric and it a perfect setting for a gothic October read. The pacing was perfect to highlight the intrigue and the murder mystery that we're following Signa into. It was fun to read Signa, figure out the clues, and also try to figure out who knew found powers from death himself. So Signa does have some ability, she is able to see spirits, she has a really tough time dying, and she can also kill people with just her touch. And one of the top points in this book was the relationship between Signa and Death. Death himself is very mysterious, alluring, and really charismatic. And he really gives off like lonely immortal vibes. So you're trying to figure out how this relationship can work between them. And I was really surprised at how the relationship actually developed between these two. And I wasn't really mad about it. It was really entertaining to read about. Let's just say that their romance was what I wanted from Eddie LaRue and Luke from The Invisible Life of Eddie LaRue, which I think really delivers in Belladonna. So this one is definitely a cozy but and also kind of spooky read for fall. Next up, a really great book for fall is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This one is definitely a popular book, but if you have not yet read it, it follows a glamorous and reclusive Hollywood actress, Evelyn Hugo. Now, in present day, Evelyn Hugo is past her so-called prime in Hollywood, and she's speaking to a reporter, Monique, and she's telling her life story. The book itself is really intense, and you get to learn about Evelyn's rise to fame, her time in the spotlight, her love affairs, and also, of course, about her seven husbands. And Monique herself does have a unique connection to Evelyn, so that was really fun to discover. I remember reading this book and being so enraptured into this book, and I wanted to watch Evelyn Hugo's movies, even though they're not real. And it did really remind me of Marilyn Monroe, of her fame, and how the public can be so obsessed with a star. There is some formatting of an interview style between Monique and Evelyn, which I do like, but then we do follow a lot of the life story from Evelyn's point of view. And I really do recommend this one if you're looking for a book that's a little bit fast-paced and will want you to keep flipping the pages. And my next fantasy pick is one I've been meaning to mention on booktube, but I haven't yet for some reason. And that is The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. So this one is an adult fantasy. And this one explores the question of what happens if you make a deal with the god after dark in a moment of desperation and that is what our character Eda Maru happens to do and the result is not one she expects. So Eda Maru makes a deal with the devil and she 
ends up being able to live forever but she's invisible to everyone and no one remembers her when she exits the room or leaves her uh, leaves their sight and so she's forced to walk alone for centuries with only the devil by her side as a companion yeah i really still love this book and how there's really complex themes in here but until one fateful day eddie meets henry a human who actually remembers her when i first learned about the concept of this book i was like oh, i need this book right now and v schwab doesn't disappoint in her writing and making a really atmospheric and a really nice book for a cozy night read and when you learn about addy and the reason why she made that deal it's because she just loves life itself and knowing that she goes through all of this it kind of makes you feel for her but at the same time it's like your actions have consequences <laughs> but i really did connect with addy along her journey to find purpose in life and we have two love interests one being luke the devil and the other being henry the human boy that she encounters in present day who remembers the contrasting dynamics between two of these couples was very very different and it helped Addy understand how life can bring certain experiences and how love can be and what true love can actually be for her. The ending is bittersweet which is fitting to the tone of the story and there are themes of grief, love, finding the purpose of your life, and also just being human throughout this book. Each of these themes had their own role to play within the story and I'm not surprised that I love this book and i'm sure you will too okay and then this next book is a white fantasy and it is winterwood by Shayer earnshaw this one is perfect for a cozy read because of its atmospheric writing a mystery in the woods and figuring out what has happened one night on a frozen lake winterwood is set in the mountains near dark magical woods and there is a family who is rumored to be witches known as the Walker family. But there is a nearby camp for wayward boys and when there is an approaching storm and one of the boys from the camp goes missing, our main character Nora Walker who is not certain that she can call herself a witch goes to out to try to find this missing boy. The strange thing about this missing boy Oliver is he has managed to survive in the wintry woods for weeks and Nora is suspicious about that. Winterwood really has haunting and lyrical writing, really strong characters, and really gripping mystery to keep you on the edge of your seat. And with Winterwood, I would say this one is one that will make you feel chills going down your spine. And there are magical witches, and that is a concept I really love, so I really recommend this one as well. And this next book is another YA fantasy. It is An Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Ryderson. This one is actually Margaret's debut novel and I remember reading this one and thinking that her writing was so immersive and you get to dive into her worlds and the settings and the character that she crafts are really addictive. But now in this world, we are in the world of the fair folk. In this version of the fair folk, they need to feed off human craft because they are unable to create anything themselves. Craft can only be made by human hands and in exchange, the fairy can grant a enchantment of the human's desire. And we're following our protagonist, Isabel, who is a talented portrait artist. But when the autumn prince, Rook, commissions a portrait to be done by Isabel, Isabel unknowingly paints human sorrow in the autumn prince's eyes in the painting. And this just means not a good time for Isabel. This one is a very fast-paced book and we get to learn more about the fey folk and how their world can be full of adventures but also the dangers and how you need to be careful when interacting with beings you don't fully understand. I really enjoyed this world and it's a really quick read. It's a standalone and I also love this cover. It's like perfect for fall so I really highly recommend this one as well. And my last book for this video is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. In this one, we're following Nora Stephen, who is a literary agent and she's really cutthroat in the industry. Nora is on a small trip with her sister Libby in a small town located in North Carolina. Libby herself really wants Nora to experience a small-time romance and Nora goes along with 
trying to fulfill her sister's wishes, but despite all of her uh, sister's efforts to set her up with someone in the town, the only person Nora seems to keep on running into is Charlie, who is a editor back in the city. Book Lovers does have really nice elements of rivals to lovers, a small town romance setting, and it really feels like you're watching a Hallmark movie and that there is a really high romantic tension between our main couple. And of course, what is a romance book without a lot of humor, banter, and teasing between our main couple? And there is a happily ever after ending. And we also get to see some family conflict along with Nora's inner conflict about Charlie. The romance aspect of book lovers will really make you want to pick this book up on a late autumn morning and you enjoying a cup of coffee. I really think it's really fitting for that kind of scenario I had in my head. So those are all the books for this video of cozy reads that are perfect for fall. I really hope you maybe found a book or two to add onto your list this season. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you wish to see more reviews in the future and also ring the bell to be notified. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!